Well met adventures. My name is Lee and welcome to Major Productions. So today I want to start a new video series, if you will, about miniature painting. Um, a lot of questions I get online are about how do I start? What, like, There's a lot of intimidation there and I want to alleviate that intimidation and kind of show you that it's really not that hard to get started painting minis. So, where to start? Um, I highly recommend starting with a intro kit. Um, my personal favorite is the Learn to Paint kit from Reaper. Actually, I have one right here. This is the one that I got started with. Um, this kit includes three minis, all the paint that you need. Where is it? There it is. All the paint that you need, brushes, everything. Everything's right here, except for a palette, a rinse cup, and that's about it. It has everything else. Um, another cool set that I just got is this one, the Nulzer's Marvelous Pigments Adventure Paint Set, which is pretty neat. Um, got this on Amazon. Actually, got both of these from Amazon. They're both about $30 get started comes with everything you need but this one I'm gonna use for some videos and I'll actually go through and paint the mini only using everything that's included here um, it's like a little paint along thing because that'd be fun right yeah sure but yeah this one comes with paints this side paints a single brush and the miniature really sweet so that's cool kits neat maybe you don't want to get started with the kits i get that so what do you need to get started well first paints i'm going to open up this box so there are lots of paints out there um reaper paint is one of my favorites i've been using it ever since the kit i'm used to it it's great stuff other cool paints, Vallejo makes game color, really awesome. Um, I personally love their metallic paints. They are my favorite that I've used. There's of course Citadel. There's, um, I, I mean, there's there's all types of companies out there that make miniature paints. Do you have to use specific miniature paints to paint minis? No, you can use craft paints if you want, but the difference there is that miniature paints have smaller pigments in their paint and they're made to be diluted and to break down and some craft paints have larger pigment molecules I guess in the paint and uh, it just doesn't break down as much the coverage on miniatures isn't quite there but I'll make a separate video on just paints to go over different paint types how to dilute how I dilute and all that kind of stuff so what else do you need? Minis. Yay. Um, so the, the cool thing about minis is they can be as expensive or as cheap as you want them to be. So these, for instance, this is the Reaper Bones line. Um, they range between $250 to $7 per mini. Uh, their dragons get a little more expensive from $25 to $100. These uh, WizKids minis are pretty great because they're about $5 each and they usually come with two, depending on what kind you get. Um, I like their monsters a lot. They're just, they're, they're cool minis. They're available pretty much everywhere and it's awesome. Or, I mean, you could go Warhammer, a little more expensive. I think this guy was $35 for one mini. So again, it's as cheap or as expensive as you want it to be. Um, other needs, a palette. Does it have to be a specific palette? No, I use a wet palette. Do you have to use a wet palette? No, you don't. I started with a plate. They're easy to clean, easy to maintain. It's good stuff. Uh, brushes. Again, I'll do a separate video just covering brushes that I've used and different techniques with them and how to clean them because always clean your brushes when you're done with them. Or they'll end up like this. Um, what else? I guess 
things that you don't necessarily need but are very handy. Um, holders. So this holder in particular is from Game Envy. This is their hobby holder. Uh, they just did a Kickstarter on this. Super cool. Currently my favorite. Um, other holders, the Citadel holder. Great stuff. Pull apart. Put minis on there. Um, Ta-da! It's just a pill bottle. And you can just tack your minis on top of it. It's easy. Probably already have one. You don't need to spend 8 to $10 on a specific holder. You can if you want. I get it. Um, other things. So I bought this kit off Amazon. It's just a uh, model building and repair kit. Comes with clippers, which are nice for kind of clipping any edges or mold lines off of minis. Um, little exacto blade. There's some tweezers and such in here too. Again, do you need those? No, but does it come in handy? Yes. Um, I guess the last thing that I have, glue. Some miniatures don't come like for these WizKids minis don't come on their little bases. Um, so glue them on. Some Reapers, they come in different parts and pieces, so you have to kind of glue it together so it all stays there. Pretty cool. Um, again, miniature painting is as cheap or as expensive as you want it to be or as you put into it. Um, with these learn to paint kits being $30, I mean, this one comes with three bones, two brushes, instruction booklet, which is great. Uh, 11 paints, I mean, that's amazing. It's everything for $30. This one was also $30. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 paints, one miniature, and one brush. So this is Army Painter as opposed to Reaper, Gale Force 9, Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. Um, again, I will go into separate videos covering paints. I will go into a separate video covering brushes. Um, I'll go into a separate video of how to prepare a mini for painting. Um, and all of these kind of reviews, techniques, uses are my own. So take them as you will, whatever. Um, it's not a rule set, you can do whatever you want. It's kind of the glory of painting. It's awesome. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll do a few more of these and we'll kind of go through some general techniques and then we will jump into actually painting this all in one go and it's gonna be super fun. Yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to send them my way if you wanna leave them in comments or send them to me personally. Um, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave links for everything that I kind of showed off today too in case you wanted to go into that. That's it. That's all I got. Thank you guys. Have a good one.